Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to make a shadow box for my daughter of some pictures of her and Granny on her wedding day and the handkerchief that Granny made her that she carried on her wedding day. This is from a piece of lace from her, from her dress. And this was her something new and something blue. And Granny made this for her. And then I also have some beautiful photos that she wanted in her shadow box. This is one of her and Granny. This is one of her and Granny. This is one of her and Granny. And this one, we love this one because it shows Granny's hand on the handkerchief. And then I don't know if we will use these, but these are just a couple of pictures with Granny's hand. But I think I'm gonna use this one instead. So, if you will remember, in my thrift haul, I bought this. And it's, I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of set up like a shadow box. And so my goal is I'm gonna take this back off. I'm going to paint, I'm gonna leave the frame as is because it will go with her decor. There's nothing wrong with the frame. There's nothing wrong with this picture. It's actually a very pretty picture. But I bought it, um, for the frame and I paid, yeah, I paid $3.99 for it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paint the back a dark color because her decor is like grays and blues and stuff. So I'm gonna paint it and then I think painting it the dark color, the pictures are gonna pop and the handkerchief is gonna pop. So that's what I'm gonna do with this frame that I bought. So. Let's get started. I don't know if y'all have priced shadow boxes, but they can be very, very expensive and they don't have to be because all you need to do is like me, go to the thrift store and find you a frame that has that depth in it. And then you can do, make any type of background. You could do a scrap of paper, paint, whatever, and make your own shadow box for $3.99. So, just a little tip. So, I'm excited to get started. So, now I'm just taking this little sawtooth hanger off of the back. And I'm going to put it to the side because I'm going to use that later. And then I just took an old butter knife and just kind of lifted the staples up. And then I was able to take my needle nose pliers and just pull them out. And it was very simple. It was just getting that knife under and just kind of get it lifted up. But, you know, it, it worked. It worked. It might not have been the right way, but it worked. And I'm going to get these last two staples out, and then I will be able to lift the back off. And now I'm going to take this paint scraper and try to get this, this photo off. And it has like this black foam stuff behind it. And I was trying to get my scraper under, the, under it, just kind of lift it up. I really don't want to damage this photo because I want to use it in a, another DIY. Okay, I could not get that black stuff off of the piece that was in there, but I did have James cut me this, and it does fit perfectly, and I'm going to paint it. So, I'm gonna paint that, let it dry, and then we'll move on to the fun part. So, let me get it painted. So, her colors are like navy and grays. So, what I'm going to do so I have this real navy in apple barrel, and I think I'm gonna mix just a smidge of the black just to kind of darken it up just a little bit because I really don't want the back of it to be the focal point. I want, you know, the stuff inside of it. So I wanted it to be dark, but yet go with her color scheme for her home. So let me mix up some paint and see how it looks. Um, James cut this down and we did sand it. And this is a piece of Luan. I mean, this is about a quarter inch Luan. It's real lightweight, thin. 
and I think it's gonna be perfect. So let me get some paint mixed up and I'll be right back. So here it is. I did lose my footage where I mixed the paint, but you just mix it to the color that you like. And this is some double stick foam tape I got from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to be using to adhere the photos. And if you can see right here, it's real, real sticky and it's gonna work out perfectly. So I'm just going to get my photos arranged how I like them. And then I will cut my tape and put on the back and get it adhered to the back of the board. And here is the finished product. We just took it outside and James just put a brad nail in each corner. And that way if she ever wanted to take it apart and update it or whatever she wanted to do, she could. Now I'm gonna put on the back of it, I'm gonna put this little hanger back on the back of it and she can hang it up. And I love it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already hit that little red subscribe button, please do. And until next time, bye y'all.